could do we have four kids, so we're always kind of in all different directions. Sometimes it depends on what sport month it is and what team we're with. When you were there, uh, what if any videos or any music or anything did you pull up on your phone uh, to share with the, the group that you were there? So my, one of my sisters loves the song Raining Men. Um, and she always, well, not always, maybe every once in a while, she's a little too much to drink and takes out an umbrella and sings and dances, and it's like a big family joke. And my other nephew had previously been over and showed me the video from whenever, I don't know if it's the 1970s, of It's Raining Men. So I just was playing it, showing my other nieces and nephews, and we were just like laughing, because they all have umbrellas, and it's just something, it's like an inside family joke. So I played that, I think, a couple of times. Karen was screaming and, um, you know, saying that she had cracked her taillight, we need to go to Fairview. Could I have hit him? Did I hit him? And then she would just scream our names. Um, and then she, you know, told me that they had gotten into a fight and she left him there and now where is he? And she was just kept screaming my name over and over. And as you were calling Julie, did you have any conversation with your husband Matt around that time? Yes. He, you know, had kind of shot up out of bed when um, Karen had called, uh, well, when Kaylee had called, because Karen was screaming. And then he was, what's going on? And I said, well, I'm calling Julie, because Karen, they got into a fight, and I was trying to explain it to him. And he said, what are you talking about? We saw them outside of your sister's house. And at that point, I hung up. You get to Mr. O'Keefe's house, uh, where do you park? I pull in the straight in the driveway. And after you pull into the driveway, at some point you all get out, correct? Yes. Do you recall who pulled in first as far as who was in front of who on the way to Meadows, yourself or Ms. Robert? I believe I was in front. He would have pulled into the driveway and parked, and Ms. Roberts would have pulled in and parked behind you, correct? Yes. And so after uh, the three of you get out of your respective vehicles, what happened then? Karen brings us to the back of the car and she says, look, see, I have a cracked tail light. Screaming from out front, was that something that surprised you? Yes. And when you hear the screaming, if you could uh, just explain to the jury, how loud was the screaming that you were hearing? Very loud. And what, if anything, was she saying? It was more of the, Jen, Jen, did I hit him? And then she would yell, did I hit him? Could I have hit him? And then she was yelling, we have to go to Fairview, the car. And she says, look, see, I have a cracked taillight. And where on the vehicle was she directing yourself and Miss Roberts' attention to? The back right. So the passenger side, rear part of the vehicle? Yes. And when you looked at that area of the vehicle, what could you see at that? I saw that there were missing pieces, but there was also snow covering it. and. Karen was screaming, look, look, and then Kerry was screaming back at her. It was a very chaotic, um, so I didn't stare in depth, but what I can tell you is they were missing, I saw missing pieces from the taillight. Because then we're, Kerry's, you know, yelling at her, telling her she's crazy and that she was driving around drunk and she could have hit anything and kind of rushes us to go into the house um, to look in there for John. Ms. McKay, directing your attention up to the screen, what's been marked as Exhibit 6 or a video from Exhibit 6? Do you recognize uh, what's depicted in this video? I do. And what do you recognize? It? That's myself getting out of the car at Meadows Ave. And is that essentially where you parked Ms. Reed's vehicle when you pulled in? Yes. If you could just direct the jury's attention with a laser pointer as to where Ms. Reed's vehicle is that you parked and if you see Ms. Roberts' vehicle. That is Miss Reed's, and that would be Miss Roberts.
January 29th, 2022, as you drove to the location and ultimately to 34 Fairview. What ultimately happened? And your testimony was, as you approached, <coughs> my client was searching frantically for John O'Keefe, correct? I don't believe I said she was searching frantically for John O'Keefe. She, she was screaming frantically in the back seat frantically. and texting in the back seat. Was she just sitting there, curled up in the back seat, sucking her thumb, or was she searching out the window? She was screaming right. between Carrie and I. So I'm not really sure how she saw John over here when her head is up here screaming and then looking down and texting. Was the whole point of that trip, Ms. McCabe, to search for John? It was because she knew where he was. The whole point of that trip was to look for him, correct? She directed us to go to 34 yes, no. Fairview. The whole point of the trip was to look for John, correct? At 34 Fairview, where Karen said to go. And your testimony is that it, if it hadn't been for Karen jumping out of that truck, you wouldn't have stopped, correct? Because I wouldn't have seen him. Yes, I no. didn't know he was yes, there. No. She did. It, yes or no? Was that your statement? If she hadn't gotten out of the car, you wouldn't have stopped. I don't believe it was stated like that. I believe there was a question and I answered. And the question was, would you have stopped? And your answer was what? Was it, was the, what was the direct oh question? Oh my goodness, Ms. McCabe, it was five minutes ago. Right. Did he ask, did That's you see not. something? You right. like to change words. I just want to be certain. So Mr. Jackson, just keep it to questions not comments. You were asked just a second ago by Mr. Lally, if Karen Reed had <laughs> jumped out of the car, you wouldn't have stopped, correct? Correct. 